Hello there, uh, this is a video for people who are just getting started in learning 3ds Max and already know how to use a 3D software and are coming from from using the Autodesk Maya software. So this video is going to go over setting up your navigation in 3ds Max so that it works exactly like it did in Maya. A quick disclaimer for my series on using 2ds Max for Maya users is that I'm only going to be I'm only going to be covering modeling uh, tools specifically. So if you're interested more in the rigging or animation rendering and such, you're not going to find that in my video series of learning 2ds Max for Maya users. So I'm just letting you know that now so that you don't have to waste your time. Okay, so when you open 3ds Max, obviously, uh, this is pretty familiar to you since you have already used Maya. So, to set up your navigation, uh, you can go ahead and try navigation in Maya, in, I mean Studio Max. But as you, can, as you can see, it's a lot different than Maya. Well, not too different, but the, uh, the controls are different for navigation. And if you're a Maya user and don't really want to have to deal with learning new way to navigate in your 3D space, you may want to set that up in Max. So the easiest way to do that is to go to the Customize menu and scroll down to Preferences. Under the Preferences, when you open it, it's going to be under the General first, but the easiest way is to navigate to the Interaction mode. Now, you can choose from here if you want your mouse and keyboard interaction to be set to Maya. Now this may be a good idea and probably is probably the easiest way to go about it. Now this is going to change your navigation, it's going to be exactly like it is in Maya. And it's also going to change some of the keyboard shortcuts uh, that you know in Maya, such as pressing the spacebar to switch views, um, pressing G to repeat the last command, and things like that. Now, I wish there was only an option to set up your mouse here rather than the whole keyboard. Why is that? The problem is that, at least for me, one of the problems that I found was that when I was learning it, and I switched it to Maya navigation here, was that when I was watching tutorials and some of the, and the person doing the tutorial would say, uh, press such and such uh, hotkey to do this and that and since I changed mine to the Maya navigation it was completely different and the the keyboard shortcuts that were shown in tutorials wouldn't be the same and and that's mainly the main problem with doing it this way so instead of doing it that way what I decided was to just set it up set up the keyboard shortcuts myself instead of doing it this way so if you're comfortable just doing it that way, uh, just be aware that if you watch other tutorials and there's ever and they ever mention keyboard shortcuts, uh, they may not work for you since you set it up for my navigation. So the way I'm going to do it is by setting up my keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to close this window and not do anything uh, with that window. And instead I'm going to the customize and I'm going to customize user interface. So from here, as you can see, you can set up your keyboard, your mouse, and other menus as well for your interface. So the first thing I want to do is set up your mouse. So I still want to have my navigation set up for Maya mode. But instead of just clicking the Maya mode, as we saw before, I'm just going to do it manually instead. So to change your keyboard shortcuts, as you can see, mine are already set to Maya yours are going to be different. So to change that, just click on the word for arc rotate. And that's just to rotate around your view. As you know in Maya, to do that is just the Alt and left mouse uh, drag. So go ahead and click there and then you click on the shortcut and hold on the Alt and then left mouse click. And that's going to switch that. It's also going to tell you if it's assigned to something else or not. In this case, I, if I remember correctly, was not assigned to anything. So I do that and then I click on Assign. I'm going to click on the pan 
as you know, as you remember from Maya, pan is with the alt middle mouse click and drag. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do alt middle mouse click here and assign it. And zoom finally is the same as alt right mouse drag in Maya. And so I'm going to click here and then press alt right mouse click and then assign it. So that makes it so that our navigation is set up for Maya. And you can test it out here in the viewport and it works exactly like it does in Maya. And that's really nice because it's not going to change uh, keyboard shortcuts that are already assigned for Macs. So if you're watching a tutorial and they say something about a keyboard shortcut, it's going to work perfectly. Okay, so that's pretty much how you set up your, your navigation for Maya and in a way that doesn't mess up shortcuts that are already default in Macs. Okay, so in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up other things such as the, just the space bar to switch views and some of the shortcuts that we already know how to use in Maya, how to set those up in Macs as well. Okay.